Hey everybody and welcome back to another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth item spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about Magic Mushroom, aka Magic Mush. Now Magic Mushroom is an obvious reference to the Super Mario Bros. Nintendo franchise, and in keeping with that theme, the item does make the Isaac player character model larger. You also get a major stat boost with Magic Mush, and indeed the title text is all stats up. This is a little misleading, however, because Magic Mush boosts all stats except tiers and luck. So you can keep an eye on our stats on the side here, thanks to Missing HUD 2, and you'll see that it does not give us a tiers up or a luck up when we pick it up. Still, Magic Mushroom is considered the consensus best boss pool item, and indeed one of the best overall items in the game. So here, as we pick it up, you can see we have larger tiers, a general indicator of damage, and you can see the increase in character model size. Now one cool thing about Magic Mush is that it can be found by blowing up mushrooms using explosions. Here what I want you to keep in mind is that on this run we also have a Whore of Babylon because I wanted to show you how Magic Mushroom, like all health upgrades, will ruin the Whore of Babylon effect, which is only active when you have one half heart or less on most characters, red heart that is, or one full red heart or less on Eve. So this is one of the few times when you might want to think a little harder about picking up the item, but in almost all cases, one of the best feelings in Isaac is blowing up a random mushroom accidentally and finding yourself a hidden magic mush. Now, on this next run, um, I have given myself Cricket's head, and I want to show you a somewhat little-known fact about Isaac, which is that multipliers do not stack. So Cricket's head and Mag Magic Mushroom have the same multiplier, a uh, 1.5 times damage up. So here we can take a look at our damage on the left, which is 6.64, and when we pick up Magic Mush, we see that it only goes to up to 7.35, which is only a 0.71 damage up, much less than the normal multiplier. Still worth picking up in my mind, but something to consider, or at least a cool little, you know, Isaac fact to know. Moving on, let's talk about Hitbox. A common debate that I've seen in the Isaac community is whether or not the size of your Hitbox changes when the size of your player character model changes. I'm here to provide definitive proof that it does not. Here I've given myself four magic mushrooms and we're going to demonstrate the hitbox on some fire. So it took a, a few runs for me to find a room with some fire here, but we finally found one and we're going to move up and down through the fire here and you can see that despite the fact that my character model is very large, we're not taking any damage from the fire. I think I even inch a little bit closer here. And because we still have the default uh, hitbox size, we can see that we do not take damage even though our, our player our character model is clearly in the fire. Now, in my mind, in practice, sometimes you will still take damage. This is not because your hitbox size has increased, but rather because it's difficult to keep track of or find where the center of that hitbox actually is. So. While your hitbox does not literally increase, the overall effect might be the same, causing you to take some more damage. But there you go, a little bit of a Isaac Mythbusters uh, character model size, not related to hitbox size. So finally, Magic Mushroom does contribute to one of the transformations in the game, the Fungi Transformation. So here I've given myself two of the other mushroom items, namely Thin Odd Mushroom and Thick Odd Mushroom. Let's watch what happens when I pick up Magic Mush. We get the Fungi Transformation. So take a look uh, at my health. We had four health before picking up Magic Mush. So we got the one health plus the full health that Magic Mush gives you. And in addition to that, from the Fungi Transformation, we get one HP. And that's it. You get one HP and a mushroom hat. So in my mind, one of the more lackluster kind of transformations in the game. This transformation often comes late in the game because it takes some time to get lucky enough to get three mushroom items. So we have three listed here. Thin Odd Mushroom, Thick Odd Mushroom, and of course, Magic Mush. The others are God's Flesh, Mini Mush, 1-Up, and Blue Cap, totaling 7 mushroom items in the game. 
and you have to get three of them. So you have to get very lucky over the course of a run. So often it's either late in the game or in a breaking run. And in both of those cases, you're powerful enough that you typically don't really care about one HP up. All right, so let's summarize the key points about Magic Mushroom. So as you can see here, it's an all stats up. All is in quotations because as we mentioned previously, this does not include tears or luck but you can see the stats that are listed there including the 1.5 times damage multiplier which is maybe the stat that has the biggest effect on a run also you get the character model size increase which we demonstrate has no effect on the hitbox although practically it might make it a little bit more difficult for you to dodge fully restores all your red heart containers so something to keep in mind when you have something like whore of babylon or perhaps permanent polaroid invincibility other key points, the damage multiplier from Magic Mushroom does not stack with other 1.5 times damage multipliers. So the most common of these is Cricket's Head, but if you happen to have Blood of the Martyr and Book of Belial combined, that would be another 1.5 times damage multiplier, which would not stack with Magic Mushroom. Uh, finally, Magic Mushroom can be found in the boss pool, item pool, and in the mushroom pool. It's always exciting to find it there and gives you one third progress towards the fun guy transformation, uh, which as we mentioned is one of the more lackluster transformations in the game, but it does give you a health up and a funny hat. So that's going to do it for the item spotlight on Magic Mushroom. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like or a comment or comment if you have any questions. And if you want to see more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth item spotlights and other content when it comes out on my channel, please subscribe. I'm Accidental Grenade, and as always, thank you so much for watching.